Initializing big bombs. With the release of LaunchBox 13.12 and the introduction of the effortless importing feature, we feel this update is a true game changer. The significance of this feature is so impactful that it deserves its own dedicated video. So let's go. Before we begin, it's important to note if your ROM folders are disorganized or if you deleted games from your games list after importing them, proceed with caution. The automated importer will bring in all ROMs found in the platform's ROM folder. We're about to walk through a couple of scenarios here, so feel free to choose the one that best matches your situation. Scenario number one. Let's say you're using an older version of LaunchBox, in this case version 13.11, with some games already imported. If you have auto updates enabled, LaunchBox will notify you of a new version available. Let's click yes to download the update. We'll skip through the installation to save time, but once LaunchBox relaunches, we're now at version 13.12. Now head up to Tools, and then Options. You notice that the automated import feature is turned off by default. Now let's navigate to the Sega Genesis platform and verify where our games are located. In my case, they're on my NAS drive, labeled as my R drive, within a folder named Sega Genesis. With my R drive on the left and the new games I want to import on the right, let's copy them over. Despite the automated import feature being off, LaunchBox will detect a change in your ROM directory. If you click yes, it will import the ROMs and automatically turn on the automated import feature. If you choose no, LaunchBox won't ask you again. You'll need to manually turn the feature on by going to tools, then options, and selecting the automated import feature. Let's click yes here. Our new ROMs are imported, and now we can move on to scenario two. In scenario two, let's say we chose no when LaunchBox detected a change in our ROMs folder and prompted us accordingly. Since we're starting with a pre-existing LaunchBox installation, we're gonna head up to Tools, Options, Automated Imports, Enable Automatic ROM Imports, and hit OK. We have a couple of consoles already imported. We have the OG Xbox, Sega Genesis, and the Sony PlayStation. All these games are stored on my NAS drive, which is my R drive. Now, once we copy our new ROMs into these folders, well, you're going to see LaunchBox do its magic. We're going to start with the Sony PlayStation. I have my new ROMs on my left, my NAS drive on my right, and we're simply going to copy them over. As the copy completes, you can see the game is being imported and scraped into LaunchBox. We've hard-coded values here that will always download a minimum amount of artwork to make LaunchBox look beautiful. This includes one of each of the following box front, clear logo, background, and screenshot. This approach gets you up and running as quickly as possible, and you can always use the Media Wizard later to download additional artwork. All three games imported and scraped simply by copying the ROMs into our Sony PlayStation folder. Now let's do the same for Sega Genesis. I have my new ROMs on my left, my NAS drive on my right, and we're gonna copy them over. Now since the Sega Genesis ROMs are so much smaller than the Sony PlayStation, you'll see all three ROMs import simultaneously. Keep that in mind when automatically importing bigger ROM files. Our three new Sega Genesis games are imported and scraped. Let's import our OG Xbox games, but this time, let's close out of LaunchBox. And I'll show you how it imports the files with LaunchBox closed. We have our new games on my left, our old games on our right. Now these files are pretty big, so let's fast forward through the file copy. File copy complete. Now let's start LaunchBox. Once LaunchBox restarts, it's going to automatically check our ROMs folder to see if anything new has been added. And there's our three new Xbox games. Since this was a pre-existing LaunchBox installation, LaunchBox is going to take all the settings of all the emulators for the ROMs you imported. So we can go right into playing the games. Let's try one of my favorite games of all time, NHL 94. RetroArch loaded, EA Sports logo, we're good. 
One noteworthy point is that upon activating the automated import feature in an existing setup, LaunchBox will automatically generate a platform folder within your LaunchBox games directory. This functionality mirrors that of Emulation Station and RetroPie. However, unlike Emulation Station, LaunchBox's automated import feature operates continuously, whereas Emulation Station only scans during startup. If you opt to store your ROMs in these directories, you can easily add them by dragging and dropping. Let's introduce some new ROMs. We'll grab the Sega Master System ROMs and place them into our LaunchBox Games Sega Master System directory. Since LaunchBox Games serves as the default ROMs directory, LaunchBox detects the change and prompts us to enable the automated import feature. We'll confirm with a click of yes. There we have our Sega Master System games. Despite not having imported Sega Master System games previously or configured any emulators for them, LaunchBox has automatically set them up to utilize the default RetroArch core. This allows us to seamlessly dive into Michael Jackson's Moonwalker and other titles immediately. Now let's go through the same steps, but with a fresh installation of LaunchBox. We have our fresh installation of LaunchBox. Let's close out of the Add Games wizard, just to make sure we have tools, options, automated imports, and it is automatically enabled by default on any new installation. Let's head down to our folders. Again, we have our Microsoft Xbox ROMs on our left. We're gonna to head to LaunchBox Games, Microsoft Xbox on our right. We're gonna copy the games over. LaunchBox is gonna check that folder for any new ROMs. ROMs found. LaunchBox is now importing and scraping. There's our three games. Let's view the results. Here's what we imported. We'll close it. We have the console added, Microsoft Xbox. Now let's do the same for the Sega Genesis. Got my new ROMs on my left, LaunchBox Games Sega Genesis folder on my right. Let's copy them over. There's our new games. Let's view results. This is what we imported. We have a new console, Sega Genesis. Now let's import our Sony PlayStation games. New ROMs on my left, LaunchBox Games, Sony PlayStation on my right. Let's copy them over. There's our new PlayStation games. Let's view results. That's what we imported. And we have a new console called Sony PlayStation. Let's take a look at the platform Sega Genesis. Go to the folders. Games are being stored in Games Sega Genesis to where we put them. Now, before we can play anything, this is a new installation of LaunchBox. The automated import wizard only imports the ROMs. When we navigate to Tools and select Manage Emulators, we find that no emulators are listed. However, what happens if we attempt to play a game? LaunchBox kindly recommends RetroArch as the optimal way to play the ROM and prompts us if we'd like to install it. Let's choose Yes Please Install RetroArch. Remember, politeness goes a long way. LaunchBox begins downloading and installing RetroArch. Once RetroArch is complete, let's try NHL 94. RetroArch loads. There's the EA logo. We're good to go. Now, let's try the same thing with a Sony PlayStation game. Unfortunately, nothing happens. If history has taught us anything, it's that a CD-based game requires a BIOS. Let's take a look at which core launch box has defaulted to Sony PlayStation 2. Heading to Tools, Manage Emulators, RetroArch, let's examine the associated platforms. It seems LaunchBox has defaulted to Swan Station, a fork for the Duck Station core focusing on speed and compatibility. Remember, LaunchBox's defaults are not set in stone. You can pick and choose whichever you're more comfortable with. There's a plethora of Sony PlayStation cores to choose from. For now, I'll stick with Swan Station. Let's grab our North American, PAL, and Japanese BIOS files and copy them over to our LaunchBox Emulators RetroArch System Directory. 
Now, let's try to run Crash Bandicoot again. Ah, that legendary PlayStation boot-up sequence that gives you those retro goosebumps. Here's Crash Bandicoot in all its 32-bit glory. Genesis, check. PlayStation, check. But what about the OG Xbox? A console that, as of today, doesn't have a core, but requires a standalone emulator. Let's take a look. Let's play a little Def Jam Fight for New York. Launchbox alerts us that there are no emulators configured and asks if we'd like to do so now. Let's click yes. Launchbox recommends and pre-populates XMU. And if we hit the little magnifying glass, it will take us to the XMU website. Now, I'm not going to sit here and configure XMU. I did that already in my very first Launchbox video. The link is in the description down below. Go check it out. Let's head back into LaunchBox and let's talk about ROM deletion. Let's head back to Sega Genesis. If I delete NHL 94 from my LaunchBox, but I don't delete it from my game's Sega Genesis directory, once I close and reopen LaunchBox, NHL 94 is going to be re imported because of the automated import feature. If there are ROMs that you do not want LaunchBox to auto import, Place them in a directory that LaunchBox does not scan. The best way to delete a ROM from LaunchBox is to actually delete the ROM from its games folder. In this case, Games Sega Genesis. Once the file is deleted, you can head up to Tools, Scan, for removed ROMs, in this case Sega Genesis. LaunchBox is then going to ask you to confirm the removal of the game. If you're interested in having LaunchBox manage the deletion of your ROM files, well, that's an option too. Navigate to Tools, Options. In the General section, you'll find a checkbox labeled Allow Deleting ROMs When Deleting Games. Let's check that box. Now, let's delete NHL 94. A prompt will appear asking if we're sure we want to permanently delete NHL 94. Let's confirm by clicking Yes. Another prompt will ask if we want to remove the ROM from our hard drive, with a warning that this action cannot be undone. Let's click Yes again. Now, let's take a look at the Sega Genesis ROM folder. NHL 94 is no longer there. After restarting LaunchBox, since NHL is deleted, there's no new data for LaunchBox to import. Well, there you have it. We hope you enjoy the awesome automated import ROM feature. It's a real game changer. Hopefully this video answers any questions. If it did not, you know the rules. Questions, comments down below. RetroPython for LaunchBox. Until next time, happy gaming.